A growing chorus of calls signals the arrival of a huge herd of Placerias. They are making their way down from the fern scrubland for their morning drink. These impressive one-ton beasts are not related to dinosaurs. They are a much more ancient type of reptile. Once there were many different varieties of these powerful creatures swaggering across the landscape. But now the Placerias are the only ones of their kind that remain. They are an endangered species. Despite their fearsome appearance, they are actually gentle herbivores. Their tusks are used for digging up roots. But on two angry males, these tusks can make lethal weapons. For the swift Coelophysis, Placerias are prey. This young female targets the old and weak in the slow-moving herd. One day, the descendants of dinosaurs like Coelophysis will take over this world. But it is their speed and agility that gives them the edge in the mid-Triassic. Further downriver is one of the Triassic's most bizarre animals. The Cynodont is a missing link between reptiles and mammals. As he runs, his backbone moves from side to side like a reptile's, but he has hair and lives down a burrow like a mammal. Deep inside, his mate sleeps on a bed of lichen. The bond between cynodonts is extraordinarily strong. They pair for life. Like all land reptiles, they lay eggs, but after hatching, the young are utterly dependent on their parents and spend their first three months feeding from special milk glands on the mother's stomach. This form of reproduction has evolved to protect their young from the daylight predators outside. By day, even the father sticks close to the safety of the burrow and carries out domestic chores. He only hunts at night. In the not too distant future, small furry mammals will evolve from reptiles like these. <laughs>